A fixed carbon dioxide fire extinguishing system consists of a control cabinet, starting cylinders, main cylinders, main manifold, main valve, release valves, associated pipelines, and fittings. The release valves of starting cylinders are connected to a phosphor bronze wire. The free end of the wire terminates inside a control cabinet. The release valves of main cylinders are also connected to a phosphor bronze wire. The other end of the wire terminates at the piston. Another connecting wire operates the main valve. The other end of the wire terminates inside the control cabinet. Before operating the system, ensure that all doors, vents, skylights, dampers are shut. It prevents accidental leakage of carbon dioxide gas from the engine room. To operate the system, open the control cabinet. This activates the audio-visual alarm in the engine room and stops the ventilation fans. Pull the wire connected to the main valve. This opens the valve that connects the main manifold to the machinery spaces. Pull the wire connected to the starting cylinders in the control box. The gas released opens the safety valve in the system. The opening of the safety valve permits the gas to enter the cylinder, which houses the piston. The pressurized gas pushes the piston down, which pulls the wire connected to the main battery cylinder valves. All the valves of the main battery cylinder open. Carbon dioxide gas then flows through the main manifold. Into the space to be protected by the main valve.